you very much. Some visitors to the Hawaiian Islands are very thankful to be alive and well tonight after a wave nearly washed them out to sea. It happened on Kauai's North Shore. Nikki Shenfield spoke with a man who says he and his wife are lucky that they weren't swept out, and he's grateful to be able to even share his story. Nikki. Howard, despite numerous warning signs by lifeguards at Ka Beach, dozens of people hiked to Hanakapiai Beach on Monday. Then a huge wave swept people onto the rocks above. Thousands of visitors checked out the huge surf across the state this week, and some got an up close experience. Michael Shapiro and his wife Jacqueline were excited to hike the Kalalau Trail to Hanakapiai Falls on Monday. The couple decided to stop at the beach and enjoy their lunch about 40 feet behind the high water mark. There was this family on the beach taking like family snapshot. I just said to my wife, I said, I, like half kidding, said, oh, the last family portrait or something like that. Then a huge wave broke out at sea. It wasn't even such a high wave. It just looked like a muscular wave, like a really strong wave. And I turned to my wife and friend and I said, get ready to run. And I didn't think we were in any sort of danger. I just thought our feet were going to get wet and we should pick up our backpacks and just move to higher ground. But it just kept coming and coming. The wave pushed many people onto the rocks and they were left bloodied and bruised. But the strength of this was just unbelievable. It's just like, you know, being shot out of a cannon underwater. We were just like, bam. And as fast as it happened, it started to recede. Shapiro and his wife were submerged underwater. You now my ear got cut up. My wife banged up her knees. My feet are swollen. My friend had a huge contusion by her eye. The girl next to us broke her ankle. So, I mean, there were some injuries. We knew it was bad. Air One was dispatched, and Kauai fire officials flew a 19 year old and 27 year old female to nearby hospitals. We're very lucky. That really, it, it would have been possible in that situation that people didn't survive, or if the wave had been just slightly bigger, it could have carried people out to sea. I have tremendous respect for the power of water, and it just never occurred to me. I've done some stupid things in my life, taken chances um, in outdoor adventure stuff, but I really didn't think we were, we were taking any chance in this situation, so it was a wake-up call for sure. And a visitor from China drowned at Hanakapiai Beach the week before. Firefighters and Ocean Safety recommend not swimming or walking on any wet sand or rocks at any beach during a high surf warning. And speaking of high surf, Kamaka, any coming up? Fortunately, Nikki, we see some elevation on our north-facing shore.